Okay, make sure make sure you have a full charge on your battery. Lock up your mirror. Okay, I'm gonna go into my menu now and I'll lock up my mirror. My mirror is locked up, my sensor is exposed, I'm gonna start talking out of the corner of my mouth. What you want to do first, okay, I'll talk during this, but I won't talk during the sensor cleaning, but I'll talk afterwards. You want to turn your camera upside down, just like this. Never let the nozzle enter in past the mount. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blow all the fuzz balls off of my sensor. Now there might be oil spots and I might not get them. Now I'm going to take my cleaned, previously cleaned magnifying glass, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in here at my sensor, okay? I still see the dirty spots that I see when I did my test shot beforehand. Uh, might be a little oil streak right there. Let me tilt my headlamp up and look at the other side. There's no need to buy a $40 sensor uh, loop to do this. I am using a very cleaned magnifying glass and I can still see the spots and smudges on there that are creating the, ima the image of defects on my pictures taken. Okay. Now I'm not going to talk during this next part, but I'll tell you what I'm doing afterwards, okay? I'm going to put a couple drops. Remember, I only tear up my sensor, uh, sensor uh, cleaning paddle. I got the appropriate size, which is for full frame sensor, okay? I never ever touch this, ever, and you only use it once. I'm going to put three drops on the end of the paddle. And then I'm going to actually swipe, bend the stick, and then I'm going to reverse it and turn around and swipe again, just as someone else mentioned mowing the lawn. It's a perfect analogy. So I'm going to press down, not very hard, but enough to bend the stick about yay much. And then I'm going to go from one side of the sensor, never letting up, turn around, the other side. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. Now I'll be quiet and you can just watch. Put in three drops. Okay, perfect. Don't even breathe on the end of your paddle. Because this is what's going to be touching your sensor, right? Right. So, now watch what I'm doing. Let me get at the right angle so that you can see it. Go all the way to the edge of my sensor. Apply pressure. Talking out of the corner of my mouth, all the way over, lift up, turn around, okay, I'm going to put that back in its little sleeve, even though I'm not going to use it again, because you never want to do that. Now I'm going to blow off again. I think I liberated some dust. I'm just turning my DSLR mostly upside down. I'm going to take a look at my magnifying glass. Hold on while I'm quiet for a second. You have to repeat this step, you'll have to get another swab. You cannot use the same swab again. You could, but you'd be dragging crud across the surface. Okay, I don't see any dust. Looks as clean, clean as a whistle. There's a prior little defect in there that I knew was there beforehand. Okay. Remember that I cleaned my magnifying glass so that absolutely every spot of dust was off of it. Okay? I'm going to give it one more blow and then I'm going to test the image. Okay, let me turn it upside down. I'm going to look in with my magnifying glass, my headlamp, Okay, and now I'm going to drop my mirror. Okay, 
I'm going to put my lens back on. Just as spotless as the day is long in there, clean as a whistle. Now, what you need to do on uh, checking is bring up a white screen on Google. This is the easiest thing. Just type in white image, okay? Bring it up on your monitor. If your monitor isn't big enough, your wall probably has defects in it. So find a large sheet of paper or something. Throw uh, the lens into manual focus, okay? Take it out of automatic. Put your camera in manual. Put it to where you've got uh, a, a, a gray, like a slate gray, like a chalkboard like image. I'm going to show you actually what it should be. About this. This is about the amount of gray. It's just perfect for checking your sensor, okay? So now adjust your exposure, your uh, shutter and your aperture with the lens out of focus. You do not want to focus in on the paper or your computer monitor, okay? Throw it out of focus. It needs to be about yay gray, okay? Not not a bunch lighter than this, not a bunch darker than this, but about this much, okay? Perfect example. I'm glad I had that at hand. And then you check it. If you did everything properly, it should be clean as a whistle, like this one will be when I check it. It was really dirty, but now it's clean. I've cleaned the light box. I've cleaned the camera. I've cleaned, showed you the really, really cool little trick about how I clean the fuzz off the bottom and sides of the felt lining inside the light box with the mirror locked up. You have to be incredibly careful doing that. Okay? Incredibly careful. So I showed you how to do that, but before you did all of that, I showed you before about wiping your camera down. So that completes a series on cleaning your uh, both your Nikon and cleaning uh, your DSLR sensor and cleaning your light box. So now everything should be spick and span clean. And do not ever forget this again. Clean your rear caps and your body caps meticulously. These need to be as clean as the plate. Well, actually, your plate is probably pretty. It just need to be insanely clean. Always keep this very clean because this is what, this is what migrates to your sensor. It goes from there falls into your light box and onto the sensor or the body, uh, the rear lens cap. It's on the mount. When you mount the camera, it falls under the, uh, into the, the, uh, either the reflex mirror, but it eventually falls uh, into your sensor. So keep those clean. Just insanely important. Okay? So thanks for watching, and uh, catch you later.